Hi everybody, George Duran here to show you an incredibly simple, easy, fast recipe using one of my favorite ingredients of all time, butternut squash. We're going to make today a butternut squash risotto inside of the pressure cooker. Trust me, it's simpler than you think. Let's begin. Imusa's pressure cooker offers numerous advantages to other cooking methods. It shortens cooking time with fewer liquids and helps retain more vitamins and minerals in food. Food cooks up to 70% faster and that means a reduction of energy use. The safety valve and pressure regulator make this pressure cooker one of the safest kitchen utensils in your home. Now the first thing we're going to do is cut up the butternut squash and a lot of people are scared to cut butternut squash because it's pretty round. You can really mess it up and cut yourself and we don't want that to happen. So here's how we're going to do this. So the first thing you want to do is cut the sides off and this is going to stabilize the actual butternut squash. And now we're going to go ahead and peel the butternut squash. And now just cut it right in half. And remove the inside pulp with the spoon. All right, now we're ready to chop. And remember to do this flat side down. Cut the butternut squash into bite-sized cubes. Okay, now we start making the risotto. And the first thing we're gonna do is heat up the musa pressure cooker. And we're gonna use this like a regular pot. All we're gonna do is saute some onions. Add some chopped onions and saute for about a minute until soft. Now add the butternut squash and continue to cook for another minute while mixing. Sprinkle in the short grain rice and mix again. Pour some white wine, mix and cook down. Now once the wine is all evaporated, we're going to add some vegetable stock to this, just like that. Now let's chop up some of the sage. Okay, now you want this thing to come to a boil before we put the top on. Okay, now we're waiting for this thing to pop up and it's under pressure. So from this point on, we're gonna lower the heat to medium and wait for about seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes have passed and I'm gonna turn this off right now. And to release the pressure, well, we're gonna use a rapid release method using a wooden spoon. And all you have to do is press, that's it. Once all the pressure is out of the pressure cooker, the orange release valve will go back down. That's when you know when it's safe to open the pressure cooker. And look at this, isn't this an absolute beauty? And to this, we're gonna add some of this Parmesan cheese and mix it a little bit more. Fast, easy, and delicious. Who knew you can make this creamy butternut squash risotto in a pressure cooker? Well, thanks a lot for joining me, folks. I'm George Duran, I'll see you soon. For this recipe and many more, including tips, check out emusausa.com or visit us at facebook forward slash emusausa.